what's up guys welcome back to my channel and we got another haul this time anaka okay we got an anaka haul this is going to be their winter 23 collection and you guys there are some items in here that i'm super super hyped for there are also some items that i'm a little sketchy about so we're gonna go over all the details so from what i've heard there's some items that are a hit or miss so I'm going to let you guys know what stuff is good, what stuff you guys should spend your money on, and what stuff you guys should pass on. So even though this video is sponsored by Anaka, my first official haul with Anaka as an athlete. This is insane, guys. It's crazy because one of my goals for 2023 was to become an athlete with Anaka, and it literally happened, it was like seven days into January relatively like the first half of january i don't even remember the day exactly but it was pretty soon into the month i feel like it was like january 7th or something that i ended up signing with them and here we are so this is my first launch with them with a code and i'm super excited for you guys i'm super excited for all the new things dropping for anaka we have new women's items dropping because a lot of their a lot of their things are more unisex but we have a woman's line coming and I am so excited for that. So let's get into this haul. Let's get into this review. But before we get further into it, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you guys are not following me on my other platforms, I will go ahead and leave that here for you guys on the screen. So my Instagram, my TikTok is Viviana Ruby on both of them. I will also leave it down below in the description. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So I've tried a few of their other items you guys already know like i would always buy their t-shirts and even some of their mesh shorts as you can you guys can see back here have a bunch of their mesh shorts here you know but we're gonna start filling up these cubbies with some anaka stuff so once i'm done with this haul they are gonna go in these cubbies because i am trying to be organized because before having this whole like cubby setup situation i had like mountains of clothes and it's very embarrassing like i i don't even want to get into it i actually still have a mountain of clothes over here that i'm working on getting organized because there are some items that i'm not going to be putting in these cubbies like these cubbies are going to be mainly for like my items that i wear all the time you know so my most loved items of course you guys already know i'll fully amplify most loved um but anaka is coming out with some women's leggings and i will say even though they don't have a butt scrunch, they stay. They don't give you a uni butt. They are flattering. They are nice. And I cannot wait for them to come out because it's just going to add to my collection over here. Um, so yeah, honestly, 10 out of 10 recommend like getting this whole like cubby situation. I actually have everything linked on my Instagram in my highlight links. So these are like not supposed to be stacked this way. I just stack them, stacked them this way because this was... this was the best thing that was gonna work for me they are usually like long ways this way but i was like you know what i'm gonna stack them because i need more than just one or two if i were to have like one or two if i were to like stand them up regularly i would have like just space for one or two so i was like no we're gonna do it this way um i do have some empty spots down here because i already know i'm gonna end up filling this stuff up more so i'm just gonna like organize color code it it's just amazing so yeah, I was also even thinking about like throwing in some shirts in there, but I want my shirts because you can you guys can see like this side is more like non-athletic wear, so I have all my jeans and stuff. So I'm thinking I can even just throw in some shirts and some of these cubbies, but ideally this video isn't even about this, but we're getting into it a little bit, okay? Ideally, I have a space on this side that I'm getting a rack made. It's just gonna be three racks of um like to hang ideally i would prefer to hang my shirts um i do have this drawer set here this drawer set is from ikea but it's nearly impossible to get anything from ikea so i kind of had to make my own like wardrobe setup this is going to be more for like my going out clothes like yeah more of my going out clothes versus like my gym clothes i want to be able to see everything i have that's kind of why i don't want to put my shirts in drawers because my thing is if I don't see it, I don't know I have it and I won't wear it. So especially for like my gym clothes I have so much, I'd just rather it be hung and it just look a lot more better. So I'm planning on hanging all my sports bras and shirts and then I have like 
an actual closet in the room where all my sweaters are gonna go and just like leave it that way but yeah I went on a little rant sorry guys let's get into the reason why you clicked on this video the Anakaha so as always I am going to insert pictures of everything dropping so we have some tees dropping you guys always ask where I get my t-shirts from Anaka like 100% Anaka or Alphalee because Alphalee has been doing more like unisex t-shirts graphic t-shirts and I'm, I'm I'm obsessed with them so so for the Anaka launch it is going to be the 28th of January so which is a Saturday at 8 a.m. PST so we have new t-shirt designs dropping I'm gonna leave a little bit of a space here so that I can insert the shirts so we have new t-shirt designs dropping. We have the Winter 23 tees. We also have the Teddy collection. I only got one thing from the Teddy collection and I really, really, really wanted this. I'm so happy that I got it. Uh, we have new colors in the mesh, the mesh shorts. Um, we have the basics, we have the patch basic, and we also have some graphic mesh shorts. So if you guys don't follow Anaka on Instagram, um, if you guys don't, go follow them. Uh, they are having giveaways, actually. I will actually be having a giveaway on my Instagram as well. So make sure you guys are following me on my Instagram so you guys can enter that giveaway. But they did the shoot in Colorado. So a lot of this design is like winter-y. Like they have the mountains. It's very, very cool, very nice. We also have some hoodies and crews dropping. We have the basic um, set from Anaka. It's like a sweat set. So we have a hoodie and sweatpants. And then we have new women's shorts. They're shorter length shorts. They are 3.5 inches. We have the basic ones. We have three colors and then we also have three colors in the graphic mesh. And then we have the winter sweats. Um, we have the his and hers. So we have two different styles for men and women. And then we also have the Sherpa sets. You guys, I was so excited for the Sherpa sets. They only sent me the um, quarter zip jacket. So I'm probably going to have to order the those um, sweatpants. Because I was, I was super excited to get those. So I am thinking I'm going to probably order um, the sweats in the girls. Because that comes in like a wisteria. It's called wisteria. I'll show you guys the color. But it's so pretty, but I, I kind of also want the men's, which is like, it's called Tundra Forest, Fro Tundra Frost, and that is like a black and a gray, and it's just so nice, and I really want it, so I might even get the men's as well. And then we have the nylon sets, we have the his and the hers as well, so it just comes in like one color as you can see, and this is called hazel, so I didn't get the uh, zip jacket or the sweats but I did get the shorts and those are the ones that people are a little bit iffy about so we'll see how it fits and we also have the his in the nylon sets and then we have some accessories we have some hats some socks and some bottle shakers as well as a sticker pack so there I didn't get any accessories from this launch I should have gotten some socks anyways I didn't get any accessories from this launch so I'm just gonna show you guys everything we'll go into detail and just like my last YouTube video I kind of like that format I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do it that way too where it's kind of I'm gonna show you guys and then I will go and put the product on and then just kind of do a voiceover so yeah it's not too long I feel like that's the best way because when, let's get into each product it's gonna it's gonna be kind of random okay in no specific order but I'm gonna go into the 3.5 inch basic shorts so I got the color pearl and these are one of the ones I really wanted as well so here's the color pearl these are gonna be shorter so nice and pretty I just wanted a basic creamy color to just I'm sorry I burped to just be able to match with everything super super excited for these so I obviously obviously already put these on I was actually taking pictures with these and I really really liked how they fit they have pockets they have an adjustable waistband it's double lined mesh so it's not see-through and then you guys look at this stitching of Anaka like how it just so nicely like blends in but it says Anaka like 
that's so so pretty i really really like that um so i definitely think the shorts for my girls if you guys have been waiting for like the 3.5 inches like shorter length shorts to drop for women i definitely recommend you guys pick a color up there's three colors so you know if you just want a basic creamy color i think pearl would be perfect but we also have a pink and a purple we have blush and lilac which blush was another color that i really wanted but the graphic mesh ones are also really really pretty i really like the designs um i just wanted a basic sh short so i can match it with anything so here are the women's mesh shorts and i'm wearing a size small as you can see they do fit shorter on my legs they are very very flattering i personally really like these shorts they are not sheer they're squat proof um they do run true to size as well and look at the cute little anaka logo i definitely recommend picking up one of these so the next thing that i really wanted was this steezy hoodie and espresso and i got a size medium you guys know that my, i like my tops to be a little bit more oversized so i got a medium and normally i'm not a fan of hoodies not necessarily like I don't know, I just feel like it's like all bunched up here. Like I just would prefer like a crew. I, I really like wearing crews. But obviously if it's like windy or raining, I'll throw on a hoodie and it's just like very convenient to have like the hood. But yeah, normally I don't really go for hoodies because I just don't like it to be all bunched up here. Also, side note, I'm very sorry about my voice. I am still getting over being sick. So if I have a cough attack because I'm talking a lot, I'm sorry okay just just to like throw that out there but you guys look at the design on this shirt like this is so nice it gives me like Travis Scott vibes as Anaka and then it says power but it's just like so cool like one thing I really like about Anaka is like their creativity like the designs it's just so unique and different it's just very cool but look at the back and it's like snowboarding which I'm actually gonna go snowboarding next weekend so I'm super excited I'm definitely gonna take this and that's another reason why I really wanted the Sherpa set because that was just giving me like winter snow vibes. Like obviously they went to go take pictures in the snow, but I didn't get the sweats. Although one of my friends is also with Anaka. She's going to let me borrow hers. So shout out to her. She's a real one. I'm probably going to order them. Teddy design, like it's just, it's so nice. Like I really, really like it. So here's the bottom, the power anaka the board like just the little details i'm wearing a size medium in the steezy hoodie so this is going to be a pretty lightweight hoodie it's not so thick it's still very comfortable and warm so usually i'll tuck it in a little bit and not have it full length but the hood is not too oversized either there's drawstrings to adjust a hood and then a kangaroo pouch pocket it this is a very nice and flattering hoodie. Definitely recommend picking this hoodie up, guys. I am honestly obsessed with it. And here is the back design on the hoodie. The next item, this is an item that I really wanted as well. It's actually this Sherpa set that I was talking to you guys about. So I got a size medium on the top. I really like my tops to be oversized, like I said, okay? It's just super cute. Um, but look how freaking cute. And it's like really soft and like fuzzy. And let me check the inside okay the inside is like the same material as well it's just not as like i don't know you can see the texture on the outside and then here's the texture on the inside so it's like the same but obviously not as like bumpy or like you know as the outside um does it have pockets it has pockets okay this is like kind of perfect for snowboarding i don't know if i'll use this to snowboard in because i don't want it to get messed up but it has okay so it has pockets right here so these pockets here it doesn't go all the way through they're like two pockets so it's not like one big uh like tummy like kangaroo pocket i think that's what it's called but yeah it's pretty like big pocket here on the side and it's like hidden so you can't even like tell that there's a pocket it's like hidden so you guys can't even like see you know but you can obviously feel that there is a pocket so for the design on the front we have anaka here on the middle and then it's a half a zip so it doesn't zip all the way down and then look at the back design this is super super cute i was super excited for this set unfortunately i just got the top but that's okay so here is the back and then on the sleeve there is an ip so for anaka power on the left sleeve and there's nothing on the right sleeve so very very nice and 
just comfortable and cozy. So here is the Sherpa sweater. I'm wearing a size medium. Like I said, I really like how the pockets are kind of hidden. It is two separate pockets. It's not one big kangaroo pouch. Here is the IP stitched in on the sleeve. There is also an elastic wrist handcuff. It's not too stretchy though. Honestly, I would say size up on this top. I don't have the sweats, but I can imagine the sweats as well. You can size up on them. And then it does have a drawstring so you can... Um, adjust it and make it a little bit tighter on the bottom but like I was saying I feel like you can definitely size up on this top it does kind of fit me like a small even though I am wearing a medium here other than that I really do like this half zip up so here I went ahead and I zipped it all the way up just to show you guys how it looks I really really like it I like how the anaka is stitched in into this sweater um, here is the back it's just very nice and pretty the only thing is the sizing so I would definitely say to size up on this top regardless of the sizing this is one of my favorite from this drop material is pretty soft as well and then for the sweats, they sent me the exhibit sweats. Wait, I don't know what color this is. I don't think this color is blush. I'm pretty sure this is the, or these are the essential. You guys, I have no idea. This is like my first launch, but these might be like they're essential. No, yeah, this is the exhibit sweatpants. And I'm pretty sure this is not pink. This almost looks like it would be wisteria as well. And these I got in a size small. Yeah, I got a size small. So we're just going to pair the Sherpa top with this. But these look so nice and comfortable materials. Super nice. And then the little designs here. We have adjustable waistband. We have the drawstrings. And then we have the stretchy waistband and then one pocket in the back so i've never tried a naka sweat so i'm kind of very excited to try these on i've heard good things about it so i'm very excited to try these and then it's like a very very nice soft inside you can see very nice and warm and then this is the texture on the outside there is also two pockets in the front so i'm gonna go ahead and put these on and show you guys so here are the exhibit sweatpants. I am wearing a size small. Um, they are pretty true to size. The small does fit me a little bit tight, but honestly, I do not mind my sweatpants fitting me tight. Um, but you can definitely size up if you're in between sizes. The length is pretty good for me as well. And then there is an elastic um, cuff down at the bottom. But they are very comfortable, very soft, and flattering. So if you want more of a baggier style, definitely size up. Okay, next we have the Emblem Crew, and you guys know I love crew necks, and this is just really nice. Like, look at this design here, the IP, and it's like a patch. So, do you guys see it's like a patch, and it's like this teal color. What color is this? This is our Arctic, our, our, why can't I say that? Arctic Frost. There are a few other ones that I really like, honestly. I also like the Pink Berry Frost, and then there are some other ones like the League Crew Necks or the Yacht Club Crew Necks. Those are really nice as well. But they sent me this one, which is super nice. Very, very minimal like branding on this one. This is the only place that it says Anaka. This is the back. And I really like this like light heather gray. I feel like it's just very easy to like match with things. So it's like a heathered gray very very nice and i got this in a size medium i want to say no i got this in a size small okay so we'll see how the small fits usually i like to get a medium but we'll see it's usually unisex so i feel like a small would be fine i'm wearing a size small in the emblem crew neck i feel like you can definitely stay your true to size and i just noticed there's another little patch down on the sleeves of the crew neck which i thought was really cute as well but like i was saying you can stay your true to size Especially if you are a female, then it's going to fit obviously a little bit more oversized naturally. And men, you can also stay your true to size, but it has a nice little fluffy, cozy inside to it. You can see it's pretty oversized, so I really wouldn't size up on this crew neck, especially for the girls. This is just a simple, basic, but essential in your wardrobe. Honestly, if you don't have anything like this, I'd recommend picking one of these up as well. It's just very minimal and you can wear it to the gym as well as out casually. Next, we're going to get into the nylon shorts. Now these, I'm very interested 
to see, like I'm very interested to see how they look on. So what size are these? Are these a small? These are a medium. A small maybe would have been better fit for me. But I heard that they kind of give you a pancake butt, so we'll see. Um, they kind of give you a pancake butt, and they kind of flare out. So, okay, I thought that this was going to be mes mesh underwear, but it's not mesh underwear. Thank God, they're not underwear. But there are mesh shorts in the inside lining, okay? So it just makes them very, like, airy. This is a nylon-y material, and this gives me, like... Do you guys know the, the Mexican candy, the duvalines? That's what this gives me. And also, like, the ice cream sandwiches, like... That's the vibe I'm getting for this. This is a really like pretty color and I really like the concept of it. I just think the nylon was kind of like, it just wasn't as like fitted. So we'll see. I'll put these on and we'll see what I think about them. But the design is really nice. Um, it just has a knock of power here on the back and the back pocket. So there is one back pocket. There is an adjustable waistband, the drawstrings. The drawstrings also have these like little metal like clips at the end there is pockets so we have two pockets so yeah I'm I'm excited to see how these fit. I'm wearing a size medium in these nylon sweat shorts and they are a little bit loose fitting however I just adjust, adjusted it with the drawstring to make it a little more fitted for me personally so I can probably do a size small the only thing I'm concerned with with the size small is you guys will see in the back like it being too fitted on my glutes because I feel like this was a pretty good fit. It didn't flare out too much. Not as much as I thought it would at least. And then here's the back. So it's not the most flattering. I will say that. But it's not the worst either. I I don't know. I would probably like skip out on these. Um, unless you really, really like them and you like this fit, then definitely give them a try. But I even folded the waistband so you'll see. I'll, I fold the waistband to see if that makes any sort of difference. It just kind of made it a little bit more flare, if anything. So you'll see I adjust it. So they are a little bit shorter, which is cute. But then it's like you got a little bit of underbutt. So I just think that it needs to be a little bit more fitted so it doesn't flare out in the back but it doesn't give me like a pancake butt but that might also be because i got a size medium and not a size small i do really like the style and the design of this i just think it's the fit so the anaka is stitched on in the front uh, there's nothing on the other side so i think that just needs some slight adjusting so that it fits a little bit more fitted and more flattering in in the back so we're gonna get into the basic shorts so these are going to be the shorts that are going to be like your regular Anaka basic shorts. These are going to be the longer length. I don't know the inseam on these though. So maybe if I just look on the website, I'll be able to find the inseam. But I got the patch basics and this is in the color sepia. I want to say it's called sepia. So I think one thing that's new is the drawstrings are on the outside. Let me see. How many older ones? Okay, yeah, so one thing that's new, so these are an older Hanaka drop. Um, the drawstrings were on the inside for the older ones. So that's going to be one thing that's different. I don't know if you guys have a preference, but these drawstrings are on the inside. And then for the new shorts, at least for this launch, the drawstrings are going to be on the outside. But I really like how the drawstrings match the shorts, so it doesn't really, like, stand out like it's it's cool that it, it like matches you know um so we have two pockets this is a patch the anaka patch very very thick and good quality like very very good quality and then here's the other side we also have a pocket and i don't know if that's new but like it says anaka here which is pretty cool let me see so that might be a new thing because it's not on these pockets but very, very nice. So these are in a size small. So I get these regular basic shorts in a size small, which I don't mind, like the baggier fit. Obviously, I'm going to reach more towards like my shorter length shorts also because I am petite. I will put like my sizing and all of those details down in the bottom in the description. But because I'm petite, I'm obviously like shorter. So small fits me a little bit longer than it would on like somebody else. So I will wear them 
you know, even if I don't want to fold them, but sometimes I'll fold them up if I do want it to be a little bit shorter. Um, so I'm going to probably gravitate more towards those shorter length shorts. shorts. So I'm wearing a size small in these basic patch shorts and you can tell the difference between the three and a half inch shorts. These are obviously going to be a little bit longer. They are still like nice. Um, I, I don't mind wearing them. Like I said, sometimes I will just fold them at the top. So I'll show you guys how they look folded. But you know, if you don't really want to like wear short shorts, you can definitely go towards this option. So these are pretty true to size. They are pretty stretchy. The Anaka Power patch like that just gives me like jocker jacket vibes you know um so they're pretty stretchy and then you can see i fold them so that's normally what i'll do is i just fold it so that it fits a little bit more flattering on me personally i like it a little bit shorter just because i am petite so it's less fabric on my legs so it doesn't make me look as short as i really am but super nice and flattering it's kind of flares out a little bit at the bottom when i do fold it but i honestly don't mind it so i i would definitely pick up one of these you know if you don't have any mesh shorts the next shorts we have is this really pretty green color which is the color matcha i was actually hoping to get this color just because i love matcha so this is a basic short also but this is just a basic logo you can see the ip is in gray one thing i really like is the color combos that they do on their like designs and stuff like i don't know i just really like how they do the color combos just very very like nice neutral green color okay so this one doesn't have the ip so maybe because it's a basic it doesn't have the anaka little like thing that it does on this side so maybe because this is a patch it has it that way um drawstrings are on the outside so these are also in a size small so that's matcha here are the matcha basic shorts in the size small and you can see the ip logo it's not stitched on or nor is it a patch i'm having a brain for it so i can't think of like the word that i'm trying to say for the logo but these are pretty stretchy like i said i would probably go for like those three and a half inch shorts over these unless there's a color that you really like in these or you prefer the length to be longer, but me personally, I really like the three and a half inch. It just kind of fits a little bit better for my preference, but it's completely up to like your preference and what you like. Personally, I really like wearing these. Like when I'm gonna do upper body with a sports bra, I just think it's so cute. Like I probably will even wear these to do legs. Like I have a leg workout coming up so yeah i really like these as well they're just a cute simple unisex pair of shorts i got the graphic mesh and and on this and this and on this i don't know but this pink and purple combo plus the orange makes the ip stand out i kind of feel like i would have liked it more if it was pink but like a brighter pink i feel like that would have looked really cute like yeah, a brighter pink would have probably looked really cute, but this is orange. Still, it's still nice, but I think the brighter pink would have looked better. Okay, and this one, the drawstrings are on the inside. I wonder why, but drawstrings are on the inside for the graphic shorts, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be for all of the shorts. At least for this color combo, the drawstring is on the inside. Oh, and then it has a Naka on this side. So it has the IP on one side and then the Anaka on the other side. I won't go into too much detail on these because these are very similar to the other shorts that I just tried on. These are obviously just a different design, um, but they are a size small. This is the Andes color. They are pretty stretchy, and even though they do have drawstrings, normally I don't even use a drawstring because the waistband is pretty stretchy and fits pretty good. Well, I didn't realize I got this. Hmm. Okay, I got the nylon sweat. I thought this was another pair of shorts. I got the nylon sweat. So we'll compare how the sweats fit compared to the shorts if it kind of has that same, I don't know, like not very flattering. But we'll see. What size are these? These are size small. Okay, so I got a size small. Here's the Anaka and it's stitched in and it's very color, very pretty chocolatey color. There is pockets here. These might be a little bit see-through. At least I can kind of like see light coming through. So we'll see. And then this is the back and it has the IP for Anaka power. And then the back pocket. We'll also see about the length because normally 
things fit me a little bit long because I am petite, like I said. But here are the nylon sweats. It also has cuffings on the bottom, so they are pretty stretchy, which I like that. So you guys can see the material. And they're just very, like, lightweight. Like, these are just, like, lightweight compared to the Sherpa set, obviously. So Here are the nylon sweatpants in a size small in the color hazel. So I'm actually kind of surprised by these. I'm not going to lie. So they don't have much of a stretch to them at all. But to be honest, I kind of do like the tight fitting of the size small. Like it's just on my glutes and my thighs that's kind of tight. I will definitely have to wear them out and see what I think. Um, but I was just kind of trying to process if I like these or not. They are a little bit sheer, but that could also possibly be because I'm stretching the material a little bit. Even though it doesn't have much stretch, they are kind of tight on me. But I kind of like this fit to be honest but I, I would definitely recommend sizing up if you don't like it to be tight because they are pretty tight on my glutes and my thighs but I don't mind it and I even folded it to see like how I, I liked it um the length is pretty good as well just from folding it though the pocket in the back kind of sticks out which I didn't really like but I don't hate them so do with that as you will i i don't mind these at all i do think they could be better though and last but certainly certainly not least we have the graphic tees okay so i got three of the graphic tees i didn't get any uh, any of the teddy bear ones which i'm kind of sad let me see looking at this one at these designs yeah there are definitely some the monster jam tee i like that I feel like I'm going to have to get a Monster Jam tee. I think that's really cute. Okay, sorry, got distracted. But I got, let's see, what did I get? The two of those. Okay, so I got two of the Elevation tees. I got it in, I got it in black and white. So we'll go over those tees first and then I'll go over the other tee. So I got to say small in these. I don't know if I ask for small or medium. But anyways, I got to size small. It just, it's just fine because I'll still wear a small. Like I said, I just like it oversized because I will normally tuck it in the back. So we'll see how the small fits. Honestly, I have like up from a small to like an extra large in some of my shirts. My extra large, I will normally just give it to my boyfriend though because then I'm like, okay, it's a little bit too big. But it was impossible to get shirts from Anaka like when they kind of first released or launched. It was really impossible to get shirts, so I would literally just grab whatever I can get my hands on. So I'm like, whatever, I don't really care. I'll wear what I'll make it work. So this is the front. I love, love this color, like these colors. I love the design. So the front just has the Anaka power with the mountain. And then look at the back. How cute is this? This is so cute, like the different like logo designs. I think so here's the Elevation T in white. I'm wearing a size small. So I made it full length. That way you guys can see the full length. But normally I don't really wear my shirts like this. You'll see in a little bit. I kind of tuck in the back. But here's the back so you guys can see all of the cute little logo designs on the back. I absolutely love this color combination. But um, yeah, I normally will lift it up from the back as you can see. And even if I'm not doing a tuck, like this is normally what I'll do. And then I just pull it from the front. So it kind of droops in the front. But I'm going to show you guys how I tuck in the back of my shirts because I do get questions on that. So you guys will see right now how I tuck in the back of my shirt. Just make sure you're wearing like a sports bra, bra, I mean, whatever. You can honestly just tuck it into whatever. Just make sure you're wearing something underneath to tuck it. So you can leave it like that. Um, and then sometimes I like to tuck it in a little bit more so it's like more tucked in especially if there's no like logo design on the back but I really love these tops I am always wearing these you guys always ask where I get my t-shirts from so here you go and you can also wear this out casually you don't have to just wear it in the gym and just make sure you hang dry you don't dry it in the dryer and then I got black Here's the black one. I actually really like these tops. I just think the design is so cute. And the back it has Anaka Ski Team. I don't know how to ski, but I know how to snowboard. So, 
but how cute is this design like i really love the color combination on these i don't really think they've done much like pink and purple so i really like that i think i'm about to like lose my voice but anyways this is the black elevation tee like i was saying i really love the purple and pink color combinations usually i'm not a fan of purple i do like pink though but i really like these uh, designs and this this color combination complements these shorts very very well and again just wearing a size small i prefer a medium just for a little bit more of an oversized look but i honestly do not mind the small at all and then just tucking it into the back again just showing you guys how i do that and yeah don't really have much else to say about the shirt you guys already know i love their graphic tees so if you like this color combo then just go ahead and grab it the last item what shirt is this is this the blizzard t oh this is kind of a nice design too okay so I, i'm pretty sure this is the blizzard t which is also in a size small yes it is okay so here is the front honestly they killed it with these color combinations bro like what the heck so a knock of power look at the back like it just looks so sick like and like what I love is that it's like you can wear this out casually like this this is just like a cotton t-shirt like you can wear it outside of the gym I love that so, so this is a two-on-one you know so definitely worth the money okay here's the blizzard tee in a size small and the color cream again not much to really say about these shirts um as far as pricing for each of these items that is going to be on my instagram so go follow me on my instagram i have it under my anaka highlights i will leave all my information as far as sizing for each piece down below as well but i really really like this design too the only thing i don't like is when it's a full back design like when i tuck it in it covers half the design but obviously it wasn't necessarily made to be tucked into the back that's just how i like to wear my shirts but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Okay guys, so that is everything for this launch. So everything that I got, at least for this launch, this is not everything that's launching. There are still a bunch of other um, items launching as you guys saw in the previous pictures that I posted throughout the video. So yeah, that's everything. I was honestly quite surprised at some things. I'm kind of surprised about the nylon sweats like i i kind of really like them i was surprised that i that i liked them the shorts they were like eh, i wouldn't really like get them i would pick other things over the nylon shorts honestly but they weren't terrible like they weren't like how i expected but it's also probably because i got a medium instead of a small but like if it was a small i would definitely feel like it would be more compressed and like the glutes area for me so yeah but that is my honest review and opinion on the Anaka haul. So the launch is the 28th of January at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. CST. You guys can use my discount code, which supports me directly. So I appreciate you if you do choose to use my code and support me. I love you and I'm forever grateful for you guys. So my code is Viviana. Also, make sure you go follow me on my Instagram because I am doing a giveaway for this launch. Um, this Anaka is going to be part one of the giveaway. So I have a giveaway for hitting 50k on Instagram um, going on. So make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be posting that soon. Actually, I haven't even posted it yet. But I don't know if I'm going to post it before or after this video up, is up. But anyways, I have a giveaway that's going to be happening on my instagram so just go follow me on my instagram that way you guys don't miss out on the giveaway anyways i love you guys i appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching if you made it this far in this video and i will see you guys in my next video have a great day love you and